the way you uh, stop all progress is uh, by breaking your backhoe. So this is the hydraulic ram that swings the backhoe side to side and it broke every single bolt around it. Each one of those bolts is going to have to be removed and then I'm probably going to get need to get a new o-ring because I see that it's torn right there and then I'm going to need to put it back together somehow and I'm not really sure how to do that. Uh, either way, uh, I'm done digging here, so I've got to come up with uh, an alternative plan here. Uh, that really, really sucks. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. We'll see. All right, so here it is. Um, I'm going to attempt to fix this thing, so enjoy. So I started by removing all the bolts, and... Ironically, or not so ironically, after driving around for three hours looking for screw extractors and drill bits that were sharp, um, all of the bolts except one of them just fell out of their holes. Uh, it was ultimately frustrating. Um, so I had to get that last bolt out. So I tried drilling it through that hydraulic ram, but it was just too hard to get to. So I pulled the ram off. I had already drilled it out at this point. Um, with a smaller bit, and I was stepping up to a larger bit, but it just wasn't, I don't know, this bit just did not seem to be cutting it. Um, <clears throat> I tried the screw extractor, just wouldn't budge the bolt, and uh, I'd never used screw extractors, so I don't even know if I was doing it right. Um, but then I decided to get a cheap drill bit and just spin it inside the hole until it ultimately welded the bolt to the drill bit. And then I put the drill in reverse, and the bolt came right out. I was somewhat astonished at how well that worked. Um, and then I basically cleaned up the ram, got all the shavings out of the way, um, <clears throat> and slipped it back on. Uh, I did not get a new O-ring. It just um, that the cut didn't seem too bad in it, and I also couldn't even imagine where I would get one. So um, put the ram back on and put all my bolts in. However, the bolts happen to be a sixteenth of an inch too long for these holes. I, I'm not entirely sure why. And so what I'm not showing in the video is the hour that I spent trying to modify washers that I had to go over these bolts. It was a, a very long and tedious process, but I finally got it. So I had flat washers and lock washers, and that brought the bolt out enough so that it didn't bottom out in the hole. So. Ah, uh, man, it sure was a process, but I did end up getting it um, back together in that same day and finish all my digging, so <clears throat> that was pretty much my goal. And uh, basically tighten these bolts up, and uh, I had one hydraulic line that I moved, and I, set, I had to loosen that and put that back down, and then I tested it out. <laughs>